parts in the back. That is more weight than I want to have in the bed of this truck. <sighs> Picked this load up this morning from a guy. There's a lot of metal work. Know where a tape measure is? What I need to do, what I want to do is I want to measure the gap between the tire and the bottom of the bed, the truck right there, with we'll load it right now, and then when I unload it, see how much the gap. I think the gap is usually about like that one. So it going from. Uh, about five, four, half, five inches to a couple inches. I know coming down the road, it felt like I was driving on ice. It was just going, it felt like it was sliding. I was like, I couldn't do over 40. I'll find out how much this stuff weighs. Haul it off Monday. I got to swap it over from this truck to my trailer. Guy told me to come by once a month and check with him. He should have some metal. But this is way more metal than I I would like in the bed of this truck. I was going up there thinking I just had a little bit of scrap. This is sheets and sheets of Get this all pulled and separate, moved from one trailer to the other. Haul it off Monday and we'll find out how much it weighs. If anybody wants a guest, guess down in the comments. Oh, good afternoon, everybody. It's Sunday afternoon. And my daughter's been trying to pull some of this metal off the back of the red truck and put it on the trailer. Yeah, it's a big old mess. He's got all kinds of different designs that guy does. and This is all the reject stuff he's got, so... Nice little bit of scrap metal. All kinds of containers, a little bit of scrap. Big sheets. I think there's a couple sheets in there that weighed about 100 pounds. Try to get all this loaded up before the rain comes in today. Get the bed of this truck cleared out and try to load it up for in the morning. Find out how much this weighs. See how much I had in the bed of that old red truck. <laughs> it's not setting as low as it was yesterday. Well, the guy said he had some in here. I finally dug it around, found it.
it out. Nice. Nice. Piece of stainless. Oh yeah. Got some weight to that. That's at least uh, at least ten pounds. Have to go over here. I got a little piece of stainless. I knew there were some somewhere, and being I saw the symptoms, I found the stainless. It's only a small little sheet. But it's better than nothing. Find out what stainless goes for. Haven't took none off in a long time. Don't hardly ever get any true stainless around. Uh, let's see. Well, I can see the bottom of the truck a little bit. Still trying to beat this storm. Well. We got it undone, undone, yeah, a lot of them were stuck together. We got it empty. And some of them sheets, are, I think, weighed about 100 pounds a piece, even with all the hose cut in them. Yeah, that's right. That load <laughs> was the punisher. Because... <laughs> For that little bit of a truck, that right there, did not like it. Them tires, them tires look about flat when I when I was going on the main road. It's had so much weight on the back end. It felt like driving on ice if I got over 40 miles an hour. Ah. We'll never put that much weight in the bed of that truck again. And that's a nice little load. Uh, what do you think? Hey, what? Some of his scrap looks nice. Background to set it down so you can see it. Sooner or later, I'll get my. I like to have been able to see if that truck, because it's got some heavy duty leaf springs in the back. I like to have been able to see if it could have made this, and I still have never made this and squat any. I think it'd be neat to hang some of these up on back here. I might have to do that. Get the rust off of them and maybe paint them. Throw them up here on the sides. Maybe I'm, I'll buy one of the signs off the guy that makes this stuff. Give him a little advertisement, if I can talk straight. Because if you've seen some of his finished work, it is awesome. He does nice work, and he also does taxidermy stuff, so he does. He has two things he does in the that building he's got.
after. See? Yeah, I thought I'd just sort through and look at some of the stuff. Some of the scrap he throws away. Because I seen some of his nice work and I knew. That's still it. That red background. That's pretty cool. E and T scrapping. <laughs> Duh. Picking up your scrap CNC metalwork stuff. <laughs> Wish I could have showed loading this up, but it's kind of hard to hold a phone when you're picking up sheets of metal. It's about between 40 to 100 pounds and flexes because they got all kinds of little holes cut into it. Oh yeah, also a nice little aluminum table. Find out tomorrow what all this weighs. If you see underneath that junk, there's <laughs> some that scrap I got off from yesterday from the air conditioner place and there's a few little pieces that I picked up around the neighborhood for Monday's trash a wheelchair in there I don't know we get so much <laughs> crutches and wheelchairs and walkers and you think there'd be a place to take it might be a place you take it to turn metal stuff. I got all that little boxes of metal. That one is heavy. About broke the tote getting it in there. I've never took any small scrap like that to the scrap yard, like that much. So, you know, I got them from the neighborhoods too. I just threw that mess in there too. And a trailer mess. Metal back off an old TV set and picked up. Had to lay it down there just so I keep the cut, cutting into my straps. <sighs> lay that piece of the air conditioning unit on top there. Huh, let's go see how much it weighs. Their little digital thing was messed up it was the rain, so I didn't get to show what the scales weighed. That load. Hold on a second here. There we go. That load was seventeen hundred and sixty pounds. Five cents a pound, eighty-eight dollars. So I'm thinking I probably threw in maybe another hundred pounds. So it's about sixteen hundred pounds of just from that guy's CNC metal shop. So it's just going there. Him loading it, helping me load it up. Then me and my daughter having to load it on the trailer because 1,600 pounds in the bed that little red truck was too much weight for that truck. But 1,760, that's, I think that's about the biggest load I've 
ran in this trailer. Since I bought this trailer. And I could have had more if I went ahead and load the AC stuff. I'll probably run it Friday. <clears throat> well, time to go home, get ready. Do something else today. Well, go to work, put 10 hours in. Y'all have a nice day. Hopefully it's sunny where y'all at. It's nice and cloudy and rainy here. It's going to be like the next couple of days. So y'all have a great day. Like, share, and subscribe.